Welcome everyone, Adam the Woo here, coming to you from Gary, Indiana. The stomping grounds of a very young Michael Jackson. And that is what today's video is gonna be all about. Let's check this place out, join me, shall you? Starting off with this mural that has been placed on the side of a building, the Jackson Five, Michael and his brothers, who were all born here, had their first performances here and lived here. On August 29th, 1958, the King of Pop was born in this very hospital. The building was established in 1927, but current day, like most the rest of this town, pretty much abandoned. Most of the windows are broken out or boarded up. It's interesting to think that one of the biggest music icons of all time his life began right in there. This would have been the front entryway. And if we peek up over the top, you can see the staircase there leading up into the hospital. And on ground level, there are a couple of accessible points that we can peek in. Very moist and damp down in there. Some paper records that have been drenched by the elements. No telling what's documented in those books. If you're feeling daring enough, it would be easy to just jump down there, wade through the puddles, and enter into the building. I, however, will not be doing that today. I should take this opportunity to tell you that this neck of the woods has one of the highest crime rates anywhere in the nation. It's not somewhere a tourist should be wasting time dilly-dallying around camera in hand. You just gotta kinda see what there is to be seen and continue moving on. Passing the water tower, now making our way over to the former homestead. On the corner of the renamed Jackson Street and Jackson Family Boulevard is the residence right over here. Very tiny accommodations for such a large family. And while the home has been cleaned up and restored, grass has been planted, some hedges along the sidewalk, and even a little statue of children playing. It has been kept pretty much how it was way back then. And you know that by just turning around and looking at the neighbor's house right over there. It looks pretty much the same two houses on the same block that are nearly identical, except this one, house the Jacksons. Just to give a little perspective on its size, here is a side angle, a little two bedroom, one bath place. Down on the ground, some bricks and placards have been placed by the city and other family members. You see the glove there in the middle embedded in the concrete. This was dedicated from the office of the mayor. This shows him through some of the different stages of his career. On the far right, he's got the sunglasses on. Below the fence line is a row of bricks. People come out here and share their thoughts and memories by writing them right along the edge. If you would like to read what people have said or who has been through, they place their names, memories, where they're from, etc. It is pretty neat that people will come to a certain place that they've never been before just to leave their thoughts all along some brick. The world was better with you in it. We love you and miss you so much. A few more on this end as well. And I've heard that sometimes People will scribble into the fence line. Of course, they repaint it because they don't want you destroying the fence. But you can also see faintly down here, there are some inscriptions in the concrete. Right here it says, I love you. Here's a few that have been written since the last time it was repainted. April loves Michael. And so does Adriana. The king of pop 
devastated right there. In the backyard are a couple other statues. There's a girl sitting on a little bench with her pet dog and some deer there off in the background next to the shed. A couple locks have been bolted here and some wooden hearts that have inscriptions on them as well. There used to be a very large historical marker right there. You can see the base of it. I don't know why it's not there anymore, but it stood, you know, probably five or six feet tall, taking up the corner of the yard, but it's no longer there. For whatever reason, it's gone. At the end of the sidewalk leading to the front door, it states, in loving memory, you gave us a lifetime of love and has all the family members inscribed, parents, Joseph and Catherine, brothers Jackie, Jermaine, Marlon and Randy, sisters Janet, Latoya, and Rebby, or is it Rebby, R-E-B-B-I-E. -B -B -E. It's a very big family. It seems as if anywhere someone can inscribe a memory or a name, they take that advantage by placing it all along street signs and the poles holding them. Check this one out. There are hundreds Hundreds of memories and names written all up, all up the side of this. A lot of people have been out here. The corner of these cross streets. That's where it all started. In this neighborhood, on this corner, in that house. The Jacksons. Not too far away from where they resided, short walk through those fields, crossing that empty parking lot at what is now the abandoned Garnett Elementary School, which is where they went to class. Years later, another organization took the building over by the name of Images of Hope, but it is also closed. Grass has grown up, a sign of what once was. Even though the brothers did a variety of performances at school and at talent shows, one of their first as the Jackson Five happened just across the street. It is now completely fenced off, but this is Mr. Lucky's Lounge. A bullet hole has been placed in the front window, designated by banners along the side, home of the first Jackson 5 performance. At one point, there was a pool hall, billiards, and they even served a hamburger by the same name, but through these doors in 1964, history was made. Very difficult to see, but I zoomed way in. As I pull back out, you can see there is a huge concrete piece blocking the door, non-accessible. You'll notice it states, own a piece of the history. I heard the current owner was going to sell off parts of the stage where the performance happened. I don't think that ever came to be, but it looks as if Beelzebub himself might have been interested. Now that I look at it, I think people have reached over and taken a piece of the structure for themselves, pieces of the brick. Little souvenirs have been taken. One could say, based on the condition of the place, that Mr. Lucky's has run out of luck. It's seen better days. Here's a little more of the downtown area. You can see how it's kind of fallen by the wayside. Not in the best shape these days. Quite a few stray dogs. I don't think there's a leash law in these parts. That's going to do it for today from Gary. What was that noise? Gary, Indiana. If you're new here, Please subscribe by doing so. I don't know what that noise was. Helps keep you in the loop on future endeavors and uploads on this channel. I'm gonna go now. I'll see you in the next video. The vlog? Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. It lets me know you care. The vlog is over.